what's going on? This is DobMac123456789, which I've been known on YouTube for a couple years, but now I'm actually going to start a vlog, and you can refer to me as Danny or Danimal or Dan, just as long as it's not Daniel, because I don't like that. So, as you saw in my title sequence, uh, this is Nerd News and Sports with me. Um, in my vlog, I'd like to cover, you know, sports and nerd stuff, stuff that I'm good at talking at, uh, and about, um, what nerd stuff covers is basically just video games, um, you know, movies, and anything that really kind of has a following that, uh, I'm into or that, you know, is massly followed, and then sports news, um, you know, just basic sports stuff, I mean, this is more of a nerd vlog. So, um, today is my first vlog, I hope you enjoy, and let's get on with it. So, to start out with, um, if any of you recognized the opening title sequence contained the Kingdom Hearts heart and crown, um, gaming news, Kingdom Hearts is my favorite series, uh, and that's probably going to be a majority of the news speak I talk about, uh, in my vlogs for a while. Um, but actually we have Kingdom Hearts news and I'm excited to be able to talk Kingdom Hearts in my first uh, ever vlog. Um, Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key, the mobile game, was released on Thursday of last week and it tells the story of the Keyblade War uh, way before the time of Sora, who is the main protagonist of the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, and it tells the story of how darkness came to be and kind of how Kingdom Hearts uh, developed into a series and um, it's a great mobile game I downloaded it obviously being a Kingdom Hearts fan and I've been playing it um, you know it's it, it's it's a mobile game so you, you know you're tapping on the screen collecting but it's it's a lot of fun it feels like Kingdom Hearts it feels Kingdom Hearts related the story's great um, but it's a fun game and you know with this uh, game there finally came to be a interview with Tetsuya Nomura who never talks about anything ever, especially, you know, since we haven't gotten Kingdom Hearts 3 news at all. Uh, and, you know, for him to talk about Unchained Key and to talk about what's going on is kind of huge. Um, because he did talk about Kingdom Hearts 2.8, which is, of course, the HD remix uh, coming out on the PS4 uh, later this year, which includes the HD version of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, uh, Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, which is another prequel game, and the back cover story version of Unchained Key. So, in this interview, he talked about what, you know, where the progress is on 2.8 and where Unchained Key, uh, levels out in the story, and um, it's kind of big, um, revealing this type of information. Um, you know, Unchained Key does matter to the Kingdom Hearts story, so if you are a Kingdom Hearts fan or would like to be one, Unchained Key is a great place to start. Um, and it's not, uh, it, it doesn't um, introduce Sora, but you get to create your own Keyblade wielder and um, be involved in the Keyblade War. And that's huge for the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, so if you're a beginner into Kingdom Hearts, maybe pick up uh, or download Unchained Key and give it a try because it does matter with the story as Tetsuya Nomura, the creator of Kingdom Hearts, said so himself. Um, yeah, so that's exciting news. The next topic that. I'm going to discuss is also Kingdom Hearts related, but not in a way of like any news or anything. Um, I don't know if I'm the first one to do this, I'm probably not, uh, but uh, it involves Kingdom Hearts 2, well, any Kingdom Hearts um, in that matter, uh, and alcohol, per se, so that's fun. Uh, it's actually a Kingdom Hearts drinking game, um, and I had a lot of fun with this on Friday night. It wasn't the first time I had done it, um, but here's that. Yeah, so... Here I am on uh, Friday evening. Um, I apologize for the lack of 
uh, recording equipment as of right now. Um, you know, I'm a t I'm on a tight budget. I'm a college student. I don't really have, you know, the the funds to use for game recording equipment. But um, this is me fighting the lingering will. Uh, basically, any Kingdom Hearts boss battle works because they're all hard. Um, like extra bosses. I know at the end of Kingdom Hearts one, there's Sephiroth and there's the whole Hades Cup and everything like that. So any of those would work. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix um, has the Lingering Will and the Data Battles, as well as Sephiroth, just as in the original game. Um, Birth by Sleep has uh, Vanitas and No Heart and everything, like in the um, Mirage Arena. Like, So, every time you die, which could be a lot if you're on Critical Mode and you're fighting the Lingering Will, uh, you take a shot or take a chug of beer. Or anything like that and you'll find yourself um, getting pretty buzzed pretty quickly uh, because it's so hard and you know as you continue to die and more and more things happen um, the, there's a death right there on screen um, so there's a chug of beer or coca-cola um, to some of you but uh, like it you, you know, you progressively get worse because if you keep dying, you know, more and more gets into your system and, you know, you, you don't keep doing well. Um, but, yeah, no, it's just a really fun way to just start your night off if you're going out for the night. Yeah, and, I mean, I, I tried it several times against the Lingering Will and no progress was being made. Um, and... It's just, it's just, ah, oh, and there's another death, and as you can see, I'm not very happy about it, um, but it happened, you know, 40 seconds in, I think was, or no, the quickest death I had was like 20 seconds in, um, but it's just fun, you know, like, it's, it's the most fun dying in Kingdom Hearts has ever been, because it is not fun to die in Kingdom Hearts, but that is, it's the most fun you could have dying in Kingdom Hearts because, you know, you progressively get more and more, uh, intoxicated. Now, this last one that I did, um, wasn't against the Lingering Will, but it was against, uh, Data Zemnus, and, uh, at this point, I was, um, I was getting there, uh, and... I was taking a beating. This was like the first time um, I had ever lost to the first wave of the Data Zemnus battle. Because there was two. Um, and I get trapped in a corner and I get killed. Uh, and I was not happy about that. <laughs> uh, because it was the first time I had ever died to him. Um, but overall... This is a great way to start off your night, especially if you're a Kingdom Hearts man. But even not, it's just a very difficult thing to do. Um, so I highly recommend it uh, because it's a lot of fun. And if you don't play Kingdom Hearts, watch your friend that does and drink. Okay, uh, I am almost out of time for today. So in my last segment, uh, more nerd stuff, I'm going to discuss the Star Wars Rogue One trailer. Um, so, yep, here you go. So, Star Wars Rogue One trailer came out, uh, late last week, and it was an incredible trailer, uh, you're watching it on screen now, um, and what the story tells is about a group of rebels, um, in between Star Wars Episode 3 and 4, uh, trying to locate secret plans for the Death Star, um, so with this movie is in episode eight, uh, that's, that's one thing I'd like to get across, uh, to a lot of people who probably think this is going to be Star Wars episode eight. Um, obviously the Death Star was in there, uh, so, you know, that's not in episode eight, but, um, so this is in between Star Wars episode three and four, um, Darth Vader, uh, and the Emperor and the entire Galactic Empire are in charge at this point in time and uh the rebellion is kind of just trying to get strong and um they're trying to do that so this movie is going to have darth vader in his prime 
uh, fighting against rebels, and you're going to be in full war between the Empire and the rebels. It's going to be amazing. It comes out this December. Um, a nerd like me who loves Star Wars is very excited, but it should be great for all audiences. Okay, guys, that'll just about wrap it up for today. Again, this has been DobMac123456789 or Danny. Um, uh, we only got around to talking about Kingdom Hearts and Star Wars in this one, so it was very nerdy to begin with. Uh, but in the future, I'll be coming at you with more gaming news, uh, Star Wars news, nerd news, you know, anything that appeals to myself or uh, you, the viewers. Uh, sports news will come out come at you again in the future i ran out of time today um but i hope you enjoyed my first vlog uh hit subscribe down low uh you know hit thumbs up on this video also my twitter uh instagram links will be in the description um also uh i host a radio show every week i could also put the link uh, to get that on Wednesday nights uh, in the description as well. So watch the video, read the description. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Danny. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.